Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick from ProSlidePacks.com, and uh, I'm just here for a minute to talk to you about outlines. So, in Explain to you, outlines are SWFs that um, you can change their color and their size and everything else. So, I just brought in this circle. If I unlock it, you know, I can change the size. Then go in here. Now, since this is an SWF, you know, it's going to be under the slide tab. Click on this custom animation and go to outlines. And bam. See, I can uh, also control the opacity. So, since Explainio cannot create simple shapes, what I did was just created a simple shape in an SWF and set it up so that the system, you can take advantage of. Um, the outline tab, which most people probably even didn't mess with, but you, you can come in here and you can change the color. And you know, if you doubled up and had a couple of them in here, then you could change the color of the, of the other one and come up with some kind of um, color scheme or something. You know, since you can resize them. Put that on to keep it round and just resize it. Stack it on top or something. And you can stagger them in the timeline. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this. Well, this wasn't long enough to see a good transition, but it like a stoplight or something. But that is an outline. Okay, so remember we can resize it if we need to, or whatever the case might be. So we can make it a little eye. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to make an outline. An outline is a movie clip inside of an SWF. So some people would say that the SWF itself is a movie clip. Um, it can be more than that, trust me. So let's take a look at a couple of things first before we get into it what you were looking at was a vector graphic so in flash open up a new uh, project created a, a graphic using the graphic tools you know the circle the square uh, the octagon or whatever multi-sided object I created a vector okay and then while that vector was selected I went up to the menu for modify and selected convert to shape foot to symbol I'm sorry and then that created the shape movie clip that was surrounding the vector and then while that was selected while underscore shape was selected which is the instance name not the object name and you'll see what the difference is shortly then I create another one and called it my outline and made the instance name outline one this is what the program Explain to you looks for it looks for the instance name of a movie clip called Outline One that has a clip inside called Shape. And what it does, it plays around with this because it doesn't really need to talk to the vector directly because Shape is displaying it. So that's, I mean, I haven't taken their code apart, but that makes sense as to how this stuff works in Flash. This is the movie clip. That's the object inside. So. Now again, this movie is not going to be an in-depth uh, training on how all this stuff works. I have a paid course for that, and that'll be coming out hopefully soon. Uh, but what I'm going to do here today is that if you pay attention to the steps that I'm taking, you'll be able to create your own outlines. You may not get the answer to all of your questions. That will be in the paid video. But you will be able to create an SWF that has an outline in it and uh, I'm doing this in flash so you can do it in any version from I would say CC or CS6 up you know and you I mean you can even go further back than that I believe but I I'm gonna guarantee CS6 and up that you're not gonna have a problem with this let me show you what's going on here okay so here's the circle this is the uh, the project 
that when I sent out the circle, I created from this. So what you're looking at is the outer layer, the outline, right? Remember I said that? See right here, when I click on it, it says outline one. Now if I double click on it, which takes me inside of it, now you're seeing the underscore shape, right? Okay, well if I double click on that, here's the actual shape. You can see, I can come in here and change the color of it. The color of the shape doesn't really matter. This is the introductory color because once they get in there and hit the uh, outline tab, whoever has this can change it to any color they want. But this is letting you know where we're at. So here's where I took the tool and drew the actual circle. Then while it was selected, went to modify and selected convert to symbol, which brought me here. And I put in underscore shape. And then while it's still selected, went back to modify, convert to symbol again, which you got me out here. And then I put in an outline. Now I'm going to actually do it. I just want you to see how everything is stacked in there and how you can go back and, and make modifications and everything. Okay, that's circle. So let me close this without saving. And I'm going to uh, create a new project. Brand new Action Script 3 project, right? Frames per second needs to be 24 when working with Explain to you. Okay, so just come over here. Let's just say I'm going to make a lower third. And so I just want to have a standard box pretty much near the size. And then I can always resize that if necessary. So, I'll see because, and also notice that no matter how many graphics you put on this page they're all going to resize they're all going to change color all together okay so you can't put two or three objects on here and think you can color them differently there's a way to give the appearance of that but that's not what we're talking about today today we're talking about how to make one outline in an SWF all right so once you click on it you can see shape right so the shape is green no uh, strokes there it is right there now with that selected or if you had multiple shapes in the page which I'm not sure why you would because they're all going to be resized together you would select all and then they will all be selected and you still want to go up to modify convert to symbol now there is a difference between an object name and an instance name. The program is looking for these instance names in order to process the SWF. But you can name the object whatever you want. The object is like the shell itself and the instance name is the name you give it internally. Okay. This again, if you're really interested in this, look up movie clips and, and how they're uh, used in uh, Action Script 3, which you know Adobe Air uses a version of that inside, so you get an idea of how things are talking back and forth. But again, this is not that kind of course yet. This is just to show you how to make an outline. So once that graphic is selected and I want to modify it to convert it to a symbol, this is the object name. So I'm going to call this my square and I'm check this button don't worry about it you don't have to check it if you don't want to it's just a habit of mine all right so now I've just created in the my square movie clip and now I need to set an instance name which this first one needs to be underscore shape see this this has to happen in order I mean if you change it to some other name See, this name here could be anything. You change this to something else other than underscore shape, then it's not going to work for you. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter. And while this is still selected, because if it's not selected, it just says document. When this is selected, now it says underscore shape, right? Go back to modify, convert to symbol. Now here's that outer, this yellow it will be you know effectively the outer uh, movie clip that 
I'm going to name it my outline, but the instance name is going to be outline one, which is now containing the underscore shape, which contains the vector. Okay. So symbol name. All right. Now in the instance name field, outline. All right, that is now an outline. Okay, so all I have to do at this point is export this as a movie, which saves it as an SWF. And then I can run this and explain to you right now, and it'll work. So let's just name this. Rec 2. Okay, so now what I need to do is come to export, export movie, not video, movie. See, it exports it as an SWF. Now, this is our real time. I, I didn't cut the time there. So, see, it, these things are really quick and easy, and they render really fast. So, now let's see what we got going on over here in explain to you. There's rec two. And there it is, see? In all its transparent glory. If I resize it, that's proportional. I can unlock it. See, my suggestion would be is make the graphic as big as you want it to be in that one page. Because when you get it in here, um, you can make it any size you want, you know. But you can avoid having this extra space if your design allows it by just making it as big as you need it to be. But this, I wanted a bar, you know. So here it is right here. And now, I can't have rec 2. There it is. Okay. I can go in here to outline and make this gold and make it transparent a little bit. And I can put some text on top of that. And let me see. I can even duplicate that one. Give myself a shadow. Let's make this I can use these offsets. No. And do all kind of crazy stuff. So I'm see I'm getting by below the line there, but um so not bad. And so that was a quick little experiment to show you just how to make an outline and some of the things you can do with it. So if there's any questions, I'll answer some, but I'm not going to answer too many until I put the course out there or decide what I'm going to do with that. It might end up being a bonus to some of the products that I have coming out. But um, if you just go through here. And do exactly as I showed you. You won't have a problem. I'm going to walk you through it one more time. Just to show you how easy it is. New Action Script 3. Frame rate needs to be 24 frames per second. It can be 1280. It can be 1920. But really it doesn't matter. Okay. So now we're in a new document. Um, let's say we're going to try to create a vignette. So... Okay, well, I don't want it to go overboard, but um, okay, that looks like something. Let's 
Okay, so I'm gonna select this. This is the shape, right? Just made the shape. Remember, you can put gradients in here if you want to, whatever you want to do, because the minute a person changes the color in Eclenio, the whole color is gonna go flat to whatever they select. So it doesn't really matter here. So modify, connect, convert to symbol. Okay, now you want to put in here underscore shape, enter. Now, one more time back to the convert to simple, and it's going to be my outline. I use these names so I can make sure I understand where I'm at in the process and just walk on through because I know after I save this, I need to put in outline. So that just helps you to remember. Now it is possible to have more than one outline in the SWF. This course is not about that. Um, the advanced course is, and so information will be coming out about that when it's available. Now you can hit enter here, and actually we have an outline. So what we want to do is save this. This is saving the project file. Now you want to go and export movie and there's oval it's going to be saved as an SWF all right now believe it or not it's done there is no editing in between here uh, for time for rendering that's done so let's see what explain to you has to say let's open the canvas and oval See, it comes in at whatever color you start with, and so long as I don't unlock it, it'll keep the oval shape. If I unlock it, then I can squish it or whatever else I want to do with it. We can pull it back into a circle, but there it is. Then I can come over to here, outline, and there it is. Change the opacity everything else so that's how it's done um, if you just if you don't understand all the technical stuff you just follow the instructions that's given to you you have no problem making yourself outlines just know that whatever color you start with in flash doesn't matter because once they get over here that's the whole point you have given them the option to recolor these things to fit their own projects or whatever case might be more advanced stuff on how to have multiple outlines and have them interact and down the road. Get back in the groove here and just wanted to share this with you. This is just a short introductory on how to create outlines. Enjoy.